for coming in. And um, the stewards felt it was important to explain our decision today in relation to Jockey Purton's um, riding of Nebraska in, in race seven from Happy Valley last Wednesday. So today we took further evidence from um, Jockey Purton, um, the trainer of Nebraska, Mr. John Size, and also um, we took evidence today from one of the part owners, Mr. Timothy Lamb, as well. So this, what the stewards have considered as to whether or not Jockey Purton um, had ridden his mount with sufficient vigour in the home straight and the stewards' emphasis was placed on the final 200 metres of the race. So after considering the evidence, we'd like to firstly take you to the division and the evidence of, of Jockey Purton. And so where we have the film now is approaching the 900 metres and Jockey Purton's evidence was the horse race um, in an intractable manner throughout the event. And the first time is just here you can see where Jockey Purton has to turn his horse's head out when it lays in towards the, the, um, the running rail. And you can note that the horse is wearing pacifiers and also blinkers. And trainer Mr. Size had said to the stewards that the pacifiers have been placed on the horse to assist its racing manners. So the first thing you can see that Jockey Purton corrected his mount near the 900 metres. He then said as the field started to turn here, leaving the 600 metres, that then Nebraskan hung out. Come so you can see as, as the horse starts to make the bend here that it shifts out away from the leader happy horse and you'll see Jockey Purton has to place pressure on his right rein to keep the horse on the track. And that continues through the, the, the entire time they are making the turn. And you can see here on the right hand screen the angle of the horse's head as he's actually making the turn and the pressure that he has to place on the right rein to ensure that the horse corners correctly. So that provides some background as to what occurred before the field entered the home straight. So then we'll take you to the, the head-on vision that the stewards have considered. And the first thing you'll note when the horse straightens up, that initially it was hanging out, and now as the field straightens up into the straight, the horse then lays in. And you can see that Jockey Purton has to turn his horse's head out at this point here. To prevent it from getting in and making contact with this horse, happy horse. Which is a requirement that the stewards um, expect from jockeys to avoid causing interference. You'll see then afterwards that Nebraska then shifts out and it provides a clear run for the winner, Prince of Porty, to improve into. Jockey Purton pulls the whip near the 200 metres. 
and his evidence to the stewards was that after he used the whip, he could then feel the horse wanting to shift in again. 跟住咧，阿潘頓喺佢嗰個正宮嗰度咧，就話只馬打完之後咧，只馬就俾佢感覺咧，就又又想去挨翻入去啦。And it is clear that between the 200 metres and the 175 metres, that Nebraskan does shift in and it makes contact with Prince of Porty. 咁而呢度咧喺喺個誒誒長廊影片亦都可以見到咧，喺二百米至一百七十五米呢段途程咧，只馬係有挨入去而觸碰到只橫看金蕉嘅。And Jockey Perton correct his mount as he's required to do. 咁跟住阿潘頓咧就誒要修正只馬啦。Nebraskan then shifts out and then makes contact with Um, Lean Master, just here. 跟住佢修正咗之後咧，只馬又移翻出去，又觸碰咗個精英大師。And that's also due to Lean Master shifting in slightly, and those two horses contributing. <laughs> 買出咗只馬入而造成呢個觸碰嘅。This considered as to whether or not Jockey Perton after this contact had ridden in breach of the rules. 咁我哋亦都要考慮啦，經過呢兩次觸碰之後咧。And whether he should have placed his mouth under pressure sooner than what he did. 咁佢係咪應該咧可以喺咁早嘅時間去發力嘅 ？Jockey Perton said that his horse was unbalanced after the contact. 咁啊，潘頓解釋就話咧，佢觸碰到只精英大師嘅之後咧，就馬仔一度失去平衡嘅。And that's the reason why he did not start to ride his horse out until near the 50 meters. 咁因此咧，就呢個原因咧，佢直至到五十米咧，先可以重拾佢嘅推騎。Now, what the stewards have considered as to whether that explanation is a reasonable explanation. 咁我哋咧要考慮咧，佢呢個解釋係咪一個合理嘅解釋啦 ？And what the stewards have found that there may have been two strides or three strides. He could have commenced riding sooner. 咁咧，其實咧，我哋就可以考慮到佢係其實可能有兩步至三步咧，可以早啲去推騎翻一馬嘅。But given his explanation as to why he had not, the stewards were satisfied that he had not breached the rules of racing. 但係由於佢嗰個解釋咧，我哋就接納咗佢，就因此咧佢就冇觸犯個賽事規例嘅。The two rules that the stewards considered、um, were Rule 99 Part Two. 咁我哋考慮到咧，其實有兩條例咧。喺今次嘅嘅延順事件嘅，咁首先係第一條咧，就係賽事規例第九十九條第二節啦。Which requires every jockey to take all reasonable and permissible measures throughout the race to ensure his horse is given full opportunity to win or obtain the best possible placing in the field。咁第九十九條第二節就係即係嗰條就係話只馬誒騎師有冇盡一切能力咧，喺合理嘅情況之下咧，為馬匹爭取最佳名次嘅。Or Rule 100 Part Two。Which requires a jockey to ride his mount out approaching the end of the race and all the way to the end of the race. 咁而另外一條我哋又考慮嘅咧就係第一百條第二節啦。呢條就係話誒，即係騎騎師咧喺誒終點前咧，或者喺誒距離誒終點之前咧，有冇去力測到底嘅？令總線滿意力測到底。Given jockey's per jockey Perton's explanations and the way that the horse had raced. Prior to the 100 metres, the stewards couldn't be comfortably satisfied that he should face a charge under either of those two rules. 咁基於阿潘頓嘅解釋，再加埋只馬咧喺一百米之前嗰個走勢嘅唔規矩咧，咁我哋咧就誒就唔覺得阿潘頓咧喺呢度咧有犯任何誒誒誒賽事規例。And I should also point out that the stewards also considered at this inquiry the integrity element of the race in terms of the betting. 咁就喺呢個言訊事件咧，我哋都有去睇睇有關於投注方面嘅資料嘅。And in particular, we considered a, a detailed report provided by the Racing Integrity and Betting Analysis, Analysis Department of the Jockey Club。咁我哋喺呢個誒投注誠信部門嗰度咧，亦都有俾咗個報告我哋關於呢場賽事嘅投注。And what that report、um, showed to the stewards is that Nebraska was well back, well supported for the race。咁而佢個分析。個報告咧入邊顯示到咧，列寶勤咧就係誒，即係有受過好大嘅投注嘅。And there was no other concerning element of betting involved on the race. 而喺呢方面咧，我哋嘅投注方面咧就係冇懷疑嘅。So in all of the circumstances, the stewards, whilst taking no action against Jockey Perton， 咁縱使喺呢種事件，我哋冇對潘頓採取任何行動。He was advised that wherever possible, and in particular this case, for a short distance after the 100 metres. 咁特別咧喺今次賽事啦，特別喺一百米嗰度啦
he should ride his mounts wherever possible to ensure they obtain the best possible place in the field. And that's the basis upon which the inquiry is being concluded today.